Hey, how's it going guys? It's Rob from Dr. M Studio. Thanks for joining me today on a new adventure here. Check out that 1956 Crestliner Viking. It's an oldie. It's a goodie. I picked this up quite a few years ago and uh, had a two-stroke 20 horse on here. Electric start, controls, and I'm getting a new motor. I'm gonna put a uh, Honda 20 horse four stroke on here. And I will uh, be bringing that over to the dealership so they can mount it up. So my job is I have to take off these older controls because the Honda will have its own controls from what I'm told. So I'm gonna take these off. I'll throw them in the back of the truck just in case they say anything different. Uh, shouldn't take me too long to do this. So uh, let's get this done and let's get this boat over to the uh, boat yard. Well, as I'm thinking about it here, it looks pretty involved underneath the steering column. And I was hoping to use the steering wheel. I've never worked on boats before. Thought maybe be a real quick thing, and maybe it is. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna let the dealership uh, take care of that. If they can use this wiring and, and that, I'm not sure. Uh, they might have a whole steering wheel and everything for that new motor. So um, I think the biggest thing is I need to get it over there during their business hours. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And if they need to change out this whole mechanism of steering wheel, um, I'll let them finish that up. Just some thoughts coming across my head uh, without any other knowledge. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, it won't hurt to leave it on there, I guess. And not a big deal to connect those connectors back up again and connect the uh, steering mechanism on the back if they wish. So, all right, let's get this boat over there.
Okay, we got that delivered to uh, Aronson Bolt Works in Tower, Minnesota. They're gonna take care of it. Uh, they are glad that they have the steering mechanism that stays with the boat, I learned today. And the wire that controls the startup and the steering controls will be uh, different uh, from what I gather. But either way, they like that it's there. They know how it's hooked up from the previous motor and that'll make it simple for them. So they're looking forward to the project and uh, so am I. So uh, stay tuned uh, by the magic of YouTube. You will now next see the uh, finished product. And just like that, there it is. 56 Crestliner Viking with a 20 horse Honda following me home. All right, feels good. All right, let's take a look at this as I uh, pull into my driveway. Okay, let's take a look at this. Hi, Finley. How are you? All right. Home at last. Yeah, this boat's a, is a, the boat is a, is a project. But it's water worthy, it doesn't leak. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna use it and we're gonna fix it up. I'm gonna do light. We'll get a compass on here. I might get a different steering wheel. Anyway, we're going to use it. It'll be a great boat for puttering around. And uh, like I say with old cars, keep them on the road. And this one here, keep them on the lake. Used to have a windshield. I don't know if I'm going to put a windshield on it. I might just leave it low profile. Maybe get some paint on it sometime. New stickers. And... Yeah. pretty fancy motor for a boat like this but that's how it's gonna roll here on Clear Lake got some wires for gauges just that I can just plug in I guess and plug and play with a little harness clear that out starter used to be there and that's what this cable is down right here so I'll pull that off of there so right now the start is right here. All right, well that's the quick look at this little runabout. I'll add some more as I get into the lake here and stuff, so. All right, thanks for tuning in. This is Rob from Dr. M Studio. Stay tuned.